E-scooters. They're meant to relieve city centers from congested traffic and you find them everywhere, even at your front door. Download the app, find a vehicle close to you and drive off within minutes. And they're affordable. You pay a starting fee ranging from 29 cents to 1 euro. From there on, you pay per minute. I compared prices of four main e-scooter companies in Berlin. For a 30 minute ride, Voy is the clear winner, being 1 euro 41 cents cheaper than the most expensive competitor. They infiltrated every corner of cities over the past years. But what does the public have to say? I have never tried them, but I do feel that they are risky. I ride my bike everywhere and I feel that I'm more stable on the bike as compared to just standing on an e-scooter. Yeah. They can be dangerous too, which is why four years later, I still haven't tried one. I'm afraid to break my teeth on the pavement, crash into a tram, cracks in the road, somersaulting me straight into a window shield. Let's tempt fate now, shall we? Today, I'm tackling my fear of e-scooters. Ready to rent an e-scooter? I'm not. Let's go. How are you feeling? A little bit nervous about riding these death machines on two wheels. Unlock the vehicle, select the preferred speed, and then... <laughs> How does it work? Nothing's happening. I think you have to push a bit, push with your le with your leg a bit, and then put the accelerator. Oh my God! <laughs> break, break. That brief ride was enough to get her hooked. Off she went, never to be seen again. No, yeah, no. <laughs> You definitely want to avoid bumps and cracks in the road as the scooter will rattle. Cyclists will overtake you because you're not really going that fast. And of course, be cautious of other road users. That smug look of satisfaction drawn all over her face. She's brimming with delight. Unfortunately, all fun must come to an end. That concludes my first ever ride with an e-scooter. It was fun, not as dangerous as I thought. I didn't crash into things or break my teeth. When you press this go button, you are being pulled forward by the thing. So you have to make sure that, that the bike drives off without you. Next time, I'm not going to limit my speed to only 15 kilometers an hour, but increase it to 20 and go full throttle. I recommend I'd go again. This experience, once again, confirmed what I already knew. Things you fear are rarely as scary as you make them up to be in your head. So don't wait around and postpone something as banal as this for years.